all you shining stars welcome to my channel shining star soup it is the moment of truth uh today for at least four of my uh vessels that i've done so far with the cementol formula uh it's definitely been a learning progress process uh i'll just say that some youtubers make it look hella easy <laughs> but it, it's not uh, it's definitely a practice makes perfect thing. Uh, I do have a note. Um, a lot of people recommended the Earth Safe finishes. Now, the problem is I can't get this in Canada, so I had to order from the States. And I had to pay a shipping cost on top of that. And UPS decided to uh, get me with um, custom charges. But the custom charges were only $2. They charge $26 for a brokerage free. Now, there is a possibility that you can get forms and go through this whole chenille deal to go down to custom broker's office and pay it off and then, you know, pretty much say F you to UPS. However, uh, there are most of the places where you can go pay your custom fees are at the airport. So it would require me to drive about two hours round trip burn all that gas all that time to save the 26 dollars uh at the end of the day time effort money just wasn't worth it to me so i coughed it up uh the extra 26 dollars all in all this one jar of hydro dip matte earth safe finishes cost me a hundred dollars probably more 105 so um I, I really got to make sure this is going to go a long way. Uh, this is also good for uh, cement all, which I don't have my hydro still ready to go yet. Uh, upcoming videos in my channel, you will see me working with the hydro stove. I'm also waiting, um, waiting on a couple things as well. But my husband was kind enough to surprise me with a whole huge 50 pound bag of hydro stone. And I was so grateful to him. So there is that. All right. So the four candle vessels I'm going to be doing with the Hydro Dip first time. Uh, sealing these. Um, I got my my first candle here. Now I candle vessels. I keep saying candle. I have sanded the bottom. I used 150 grit, grit and 120 grit. I could have probably gone a higher grit, but I didn't want to ruin anything. But I have smoothed out the edges and sanded out the bottoms on each of these. Now, for the most part, I am pretty confident with all for these three vessels. This one, however, I'm not so confident because this one has a huge, uh, this is the one I keep re referencing, that has a huge crack in it. Now, this one, um, I won't be testing it in a, in a candle vessel. It's just too unnerving with a huge crack in it. So yeah, I'm actually going to start with this one because this is my first time doing the Hydro Dip and using it technique. Uh, now this is supposed to, I don't have any mask um, and all the videos I've seen have been people using their, their hands. So I do have a, a spatula here. I'm just going to grab an extra cup and an extra spatula. So you will see a cut in the video. I feel kind of weird using just my bare hands to do this. Uh, I do have this plate. Um, the idea is to rotate it until it's fully dipped uh, inside and out. I think this will do. Um, I'm hoping, I guess we'll see. Obviously, I don't want to waste any of this because it's so friggin' expensive for me. Oi, um, next time I will be buying, purchasing the Echo Safe. This stuff, the Hydro Dip, as great as it is, uh, just is not affordable to me. So I just can't, uh, it's definitely not economic, economically affordable for me to do. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be pouring this into this cup rather than pouring it straight into the, the hydro dip straight into my dish I'm using here. Uh, the Hydro Dip just feels weird to me, so I am going to wear gloves. I might end up taking the gloves off, but I don't know yet. Ooh. Sorry, guys. a lot. Another video with a lot of cuts in it. All right. Now, 
This is supposed to be stirred fully, fully. Just giving it a stir with one of my with my blue spatula here. Stir, stir, stir. Okay. Waste nothing. It's gonna be my motto with this stuff. Waste nothing at a hundred dollars. No way, no way. And it was at that point where it was already shipped and I really wanted this stuff. I, I even had a coupon. <laughs> I even used a code uh, for this too. So yeah, that happened. All right, got some hydro dip in there. Now you're supposed to let it just kind of sit for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do this one first. I don't know, I think this might be too shallow. They did tell me that one of these is supposed to dip a hundred jars. So uh, at the price I paid, it's like $10, $10 a jar. Wait, a hundred jars, I paid a hundred dollars, a dollar a jar, a dollar dipping, whatever. All right, I'm just gonna, I did just pour it in the inside. I'm supposed to just let it soak. Just wipe off the excess. Now there is a way to test if it's fully sealed. Um, after about, I think uh, at least two days, I'm going to put some water in it and see if I see any wet spots. Just a little bit of a wipe here. Because it's so expensive, I just gotta want to wipe off all the excess. I'm just using a spatula here. I don't want to do all this stuff willy-nilly considering how expensive she is and I did get the inside. Excess little okay, I'll let that dry. I'll have to watch Jay's video again to see how long he did that for. All right, so practice makes perfect. We got my second one. Uh, this one is a nice white, like red and white one. Uh, with this one, it looks all right. I do have some air bubbles here and there, uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's do this a little different way here. Dip a bit, roll it, roll it, roll in with the homies, yeah. Pour some on the inside here. Just wanna, this is the easiest, gonna be the easiest way for me to get the inside. That a little. Mm 
And keep in mind, I've only done two jars, and I don't have that much on two jars. I don't have that much left. So I think uh, I'm going to have to, it's going to have to go with the, uh, the Echo. I'm going to have to go with the Echo, guys. It's going to have to be that way. Because I can't afford the Hydra Dip stuff. As much as I would like to, it's just not economical for me in Canada. thing for about 30 seconds. Not too big of a mess, a little bit of a mess, but not nothing too terrible. As I knock over that. Waste not, want not. There is one thing I'm noticing. There is actually a bit of a smell. Not really overly strong, but not concerned about it just because it is non-toxic but uh, there is a bit of a scent it's almost like I don't quite know how to describe it almost like glue not that I went around sniffing a lot of glue <laughs> when I was younger but it's kind of what it reminds me of Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let these, I believe, set for three hours. I think it was three hours uh, or two hours, maybe two. And then I'm going to test them and uh, test and see if they're properly sealed. And then if they're not, obviously I'm gonna to have to go for another dip. This is just one dip. I'm just, I have no idea right now. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this video up and I will, um, well, I might, I, I might do a cut in the video and then just uh, show you, give you some final thoughts on what I think of the very expensive Hydra dip. All right.